Hello and welcome back to the videos. This is video 199. So I have to figure out what to do for the next one. Seems like it should be special, right? Well, that would be saying they're not all special. This video is going to be the typical hodgepodge accumulation of video clips that I just don't want to throw away and I try and I do them about once a month. First, I have a bit of humor to show you with YouTube. As some of you may know, when you do YouTube videos at some point, uh, you start receiving a little bit of money. Not a lot. I don't get it every month, but there's a little bit. And they call it monetization. And recently, for the past uh, couple months, I have found that every video I post up gets demonetized so they don't have to pay out on it and what's funny is they send me a notice and they say that the demonetization is due to it being not suitable for most viewers and this category is reserved for people that constantly drop the f-bomb or it's a sex topic or there's nudity or it's offensive in some way basically what i think has happened is youtube has decided to try to get out of paying on the videos um, and this is a way to do it they just demonetize you on something that they say was uh, calculated by an algorithm on some computer now you'd say well why should they pay well, the thing is, they run advertisements on these. You know, I think most times you click on a YouTube video these days, you're going to get an advertisement. Now they don't want to pay it out on the people that are providing the content. So it, it's kind of annoying, but it's just the way it goes. I didn't do this for that. So, but that does bring me to a point where I've mentioned before these actually can get expensive going into it I had no idea I just thought well I got a camera I'll just do this and you know it won't cost anything well that's not really the case but at some point I was asked to figure out a way to accept some donations and I said no 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 and then eventually I did and I set up a patreon account and I have to say you never know as time goes on but uh, the patreon subscribers have been very generous and um, it has been more than just a little useful and I want to thank you for that. Welcome to my monthly hodgepodge bunch of video clips and what you're going to see coming up is first to my local win place they're four dollars for a half a dozen wings and a big bunch of french fries and all the wings I've had in Cuenca are almost like these little pigeon wings. They're small. These things are, the wings are the size of drumsticks. This next clip, um, not seeing what I saw when it was live, so maybe I lost a part of it, but I put it up anyway. Maybe it was more for me. I was sitting in the park, Parque de la Madre, and I was waiting for someone. Uh, Maria, as a matter of fact, we were meeting up for lunch. Uh, many of you re will remember her and as I was sitting there I saw these two runners and they stopped and they went over to the fountain to get a drink of water and they ended up tossing water back and forth on each other and I just thought it was kind of cute and and so it's a clip around that time got another trip where I went back to Larry Burger okay right after I did a video about Larry Burgers they were closed for a couple of weeks but they're back open and here i am getting my one dollar bird well, actually it's got fries and a coke for a dollar 75. i went to my first birthday party in in cuenca and it was for martin and it was martin's first ever official uh invite a lot of other kids birthday party it was the seventh uh birthday and what was interesting, this first clip is this street kid, and you'll see this sullen face 
uh, but it's also he's got face paint on, which seems like a, what's what's up here. Uh, Audrey had found this street kid outside of McDonald's where his family had put him out to try to raise money selling packets of gum um, so he'd have money for food and for school. And that's not uncommon and that goes directly to the foundation that she started which uh, there will be videos coming up on that. But the look on his face, it, it really tells a story. It reminds me of a child in a war zone. You see the aftermath or uh, if you've ever been to a war and you see what goes on and you see the kind of faces and the moods and attitudes. This kid looked like he just stepped out of a war zone. So it's, um, I think you'll find the clip interesting. And then of course it's a birthday party, a couple things I'd never known about Ecuador. So uh, you've got those clips. And the last one, we were at the mall and it was a day or two after Martin's birthday and you know they got those jumpy bungee cord things and he wanted to do it. And I was a little surprised because Martin's been, well, he's a little on the fearful side of things. I mean I took him to the park and there's certain things he doesn't want to go on. There was this pole one day that's only my head high and um, he didn't want to get on it, he was afraid. It's just like a fireman's pole. And so I worked with him a little bit, got him on the pole, had him do it a few times, and he, he lost that fear. And it was a good thing, and I've been working on uh, with him whatever this little fear thing he has about uh, trying new things. Well, there was no fear the day he went to the mall and he decided he wanted to go on this. I thought he would freak out and and scream to get off and he just laughs and laughs and laughs through the whole thing absolutely fearless it was really nice to see i don't know who laughed more if he laughed more you can pick it up in the in the audio of audrey who was sitting next to me but away from the microphone she was laughing in my ear the entire time so it was it was a pleasant five minutes for me now i did cut it so I think it's about a minute um, <clears throat> but it was entertaining for me to see him break through that fear and all that laughter pretty tough to beat that for two dollars <laughs>
Uh, so that's my hodgepodge video for this month, and I'll see you next time. You know you're cool.